Chronic pain affects all aspects of life, from sleeping and eating to staying active and being a part of the community. Newton Wellesley Hospital's pain management service is one of the many pain centers in the area that focus on how a person can get their quality of life back despite their chronic pain. But it focuses a little bit more on the one-to-one -to, -one to help achieve that goal. On a daily basis, I'm probably average around a five, a four or five, and on my worst days, no more than an eight, I don't think. Al Valentino is talking about his daily occurrence with pain. In 1986, he herniated two discs in his back while working. Since then, he's been in chronic pain, but has been learning how to cope with the pain through medication and behavioral changes, since it will never truly disappear. I am to the point where I've been finding a happy medium dealing with it. Uh, for the most part, um, it's working well. Valentino has been coming to Newton Wellesley Hospital's pain management service for over a year. The small but comprehensive area provides an individualized approach to diagnose, treat, and relieve chronic pain through both medical and alternative behavioral methods. Pain really affects every aspect of a person's life physically, emotionally, um, it affects work, sleep, relationships, and as a service we really believe strongly in treating all of those different things. While they cannot promise to eliminate the pain, they can help reduce it. If we are able to completely eliminate it, that's wonderful. With some of our patients who live in chronic pain, if we're able to diminish the cessation of pain in any one of a number of ways, um, and bring back their hope, their uh, joy, ability to engage in activities that they like, um, then that is, that's really what we hope for. An obvious answer to pain is medication, but not everyone needs a pharmaceutical solution. There are other answers. We frequently will send people for yoga. Um, some people are very um, involved in acupuncture, um, the use of music, humor, um, imagery, those types of things can help people with both acute pain but more with uh, chronic pain. Also, seeing Dr. Alan Wickower, a licensed psychologist who specializes in helping people cope with chronic pain, he helps by teaching people how to help themselves. One is through education, by thinking of their pain in a different way. Another is by changing the channel on the pain noise through hypnosis or understanding the healing process. And lastly, by resuming normal activity one step at a time. Get back on the, on the treadmill for five minutes. Maybe you can't do 20 minutes yet. Uh, take a walk around the block. Um, do some vacuuming. Do some light laundry. Um, if you go back to work, uh, to make sure you take enough breaks so that before the pain gets so bad that you feel like you have to leave work, you get up and you, and you stretch and you, and you walk around. With chronic pain, there can be times when a patient isn't feeling that well. Dr. Wickhauer provides tips on how to manage the pain, starting with the very basics. That's your exercise and your nutrition and your sleep, your relationships, and having some purpose. Um, those are the three things, I think, which are essential. Valentino agrees that staying busy is the best way for him to deal with his chronic pain. Try to keep busy. I go to work. Um, I see my boys. Uh, try to keep active and positive. And when I'm around them, um, that just makes me get through a day. But not all patients will know what is causing their pain. After seeing many doctors and specialists, some give up hope of ever knowing. That is one of the reasons for the pain management service. Many resources are located at the Newton Wellesley Hospital location, and they will work with you to help find an answer of some kind. Patients are referred by their primary care provider and start with a consultation. We're able to hear the story from the beginning, and I think it's important for people to tell that story. What happened? When did the pain start? What's happened to date? So that we can then move forward. And bringing things together and telling people that we will help coordinate things with you. We will be in touch with your primary care. We'll be in touch with your rheumatologist. Let's try to work as a team uh, together instead of feeling like 
my rheumatologist is here, my PCP is here, my pain service is here, my behavioral medicine person is here, my physical therapist is here. We really want to work together because we really think it's the best for our patients. It all starts with a walk into the center to notice a change. Staff and nurses are happy to help any way they can. Their goal is to improve a patient's quality of life, and in turn, it helps improve their own. I get to meet some fascinating people. I hear stories of, of resilience, determination, courage. Uh, that's just remarkable, and it keeps inspiring me. So when I see other patients, I remember, well, so-and-so did this despite their adversity and their pain, and wow, I don't know how they do it, but they do it. And so it's, it's, uh, instills a lot of hope and faith for me in what, what people are capable of doing despite, uh, despite pain and, and, and suffering. I feel privileged to be a part of uh, their life and to help them in often small, incremental ways improve, improve their life. Uh, there are patients I see who still have pain, um, but their quality of life is improved. Um, and I feel lucky to have a small piece in that.